spent time on the insights panel. Now we want to focus on this other icon, little, little clipboard with the check mark. So I can click on that as an option and you'll see it does pull a nice condensed um, and more digestible view of everything within the plan. So I have my weekly work plan. I can see it by swim lane or I can see it broken up by trade. So you have those options at the top here. You do also have those same filters, right? Being able to select different areas, specific trades, right? All of that information will filter. Now the plan will always start on the current week, uh, but you can also specify, right? Depending on the week you wanna look at, right? You have those options. And then we also have the option to go from one week up to 12, and then even further all the way out to two years. Now, as you get into those two-year plans, right, it is more looking at high level, um, a high level overview rather than um, the daily. So let's go back to four weeks. I do also have labels that I can look at. These can be um, customized labels that you may have added, or they would be some of the smart labels like, you know, this was a, a weather delay that we had here. And then we also have different display options depending on how much information you want to show here. Um, so if I deselect all of this. Now, if I deselect all, right, you'll see at the very top as an overall, it gives me some numbers here. All right, so those are dates. And then we have some letters here. Those represent um, weekdays. Now, if I go ahead and select people, you'll notice that that does change. That goes from the dates to um, the actual crew size counts. So I can see, all right, we have 222 across the board. Um, so that just tallies for overall across all swim lanes. This shows just for the swim lane. And then this shows the individual days. I can also see the description if I wanted to see that information. And then if I did have any other specific labels, I would be able to do that as well as dates. So all of this information is extremely helpful. Um, a lot of teams like to pull this up during their weekly meetings, right? You can actually work through the data in here. You can see the status. You can actually jump to the task just by clicking on this icon. You'll see that the task does highlight. And if I was in a different area, I can click on this icon and it will bring me to that task, right? So you can see very helpful. The other option that happens here is it gives me an option to edit these tasks in real time. Now, both of these tasks are completed or marked incomplete. However, if I decided that this task here that's completed, you know what, isn't actually completed, right? We're gonna go ahead and put it in an unplanned state. I'll have to confirm that click save and close. And you can see I just changed the status of that task. I could also click here and I could adjust the date or maybe the duration. So I know it's gonna start on 12-4 still, but I need three days. So just like that, we added three days. We also know that the, uh, there's a crew size of three for each of those three days, which we could adjust as needed. And so maybe it's just one person, but you can see Right, very easy to make these adjustments uh, within the weekly work plan. Now, last but not least, with the weekly work plan, this is a huge uh, help and, and uh, a very large request for many of our teams to be able to export to PDF. Right, so people love their printouts, so having that option to click that one button, um, pull a nice condensed view, and then I can go ahead and save it as PDF or print it out. 